Hello, welcome to uh, this video series in conjunction with the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle 2023. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a um, sweet and savory peach dressing with Indian flair. This is from the um, course on how to autopilot your raw food success by uh, Renny and Jesse. So, um, you know what? Let's just get started and do it. Um, and then, yeah, because I need to make lunch. I need to eat lunch soon. It's like, uh, it's my lunch time now. Okay, so um, I'm actually making a, an adjustment to the recipe because um, I didn't manage to find peaches. But um, and then I actually asked Renny if uh, if I can't find peaches, can I use? Um, I think I asked her what can I use, and she su suggested a substitute of um, apricots. Um, you can replace them with 150 grams of dried apricots Yeah And then blend it in Soak it in water and blend it um, But then I don't have dried apricots I thought I did but I don't So I thought I will use um, figs um, So she said yeah figs will work great But yesterday I picked up some jackfruit So I'm going to use some jackfruit instead Yeah so let's see how that goes um, I've used jackfruit as a dressing before and it tastes great, so yeah, that should work. Yeah, so um, I love how the dressing is like super simple um, and it there's no oil and it's very low fat as well. So it's just um, three fully ripe peaches, so I'm going to put in the... Uh, I'm going to put in jackfruit instead and then um, three ripe tomatoes. So I'm going to put in the tomatoes, yeah. Tomatoes! All right. Yeah, I thought I'll put in the tomatoes first. And then half a teaspoon of fresh ginger pa uh, powder. I don't have fresh ginger today. So I'm going to put in some um, ginger powder from Organicule. Uh, if you are in Malaysia, use my code CHEFIN for 10% off. Um, let me read to you what's so great about Organicule's ginger powder. But I can't see it. <laughs> uh, ginger's warm, spicy, sweet flavor and pungent aroma are unmistakable. Ginger is known for easing digestion, reducing nausea, bloat, uh, and boosting the immune system. Nutritionally dense and loaded with plant-based antioxidants and vitamins and minerals. Yeah, and the organic hill ginger is grown in the northeastern region of India. It has perfect combination of heat, sunlight, uh, rainfall and humidity for growing ginger of the highest quality. Yeah, hand-picked ginger is washed and treated it, with treated water and dry under strict hygiene conditions at low temperature. So yeah, that's why I'm using the organic heel one. So okay, um, I'm just gonna put a bit because I'm doing a combination of ginger. I'm using ginger juice and ginger powder. Yeah, actually I like ginger a lot, so I'm gonna put it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put in half a teaspoon of the ginger powder, and then I'm gonna put in one eight teaspoon of fresh turmeric or powdered. So I'm gonna use powdered because I also have the organic Q, um turmeric as well. Um, let me just read to you what is so great about the organic Q turmeric. Uh, Turmeric root is native to India. It's been used for thousands of years in traditional home remedies. It contains a powerful uh, compound called curcumin, uh, known for its potent anti-inflammatory properties. Our turmeric variety is from Lakadon, which has natural uh, curcumin levels above five percent, whereas most turmeric range from two to three percent. Yeah, so. Again, um, organic turmeric are hand-picked and sustainably sourced from the high altitude of Lakadong region using traditional methods to give you the best quality. Okay, so she says put in like one eighth teaspoon. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put it. I wanted to put I was wondering like should I put in more? And then I was like, oh I should stick to people's recipes. If not, I keep changing it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, so we do done that. Um I'm also going to put in a bit of um a bit yeah, I had to put in a, a um 
a a a chopstick because if not the set it's all like the everything sinks below the set everything sinks below okay so this one uh doku sent me and from my blue tea so this is uh diet ginger juice yeah so this is our special malaysian diet ginger juice so putting in a bit as well okay so that goes in and then i'm going to put in some black pepper um yeah so uh musoi saw sent me their 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 cute little condiment kit that they collaborated with um langit collective so i'm going to use yeah black pepper for this again uh just one eight teaspoon so just a tiny little bit so cool we have turmeric and black pepper and ginger yeah all the stuff that i like okay so that goes in and the last thing is um one quarter teaspoon of cumin powder or oh, cumin hole she said oh, powder or hole so i'm using this cumin quarter teaspoon Okay, so cumin going in. All right, and then let's put in the um, jackfruit. Yeah. Maybe when I put all the jackfruit, I might want to keep some to just like put it as bite sized pieces um, for my. For my dressing at least i can bite into it yeah let me do that okay so we're gonna blend it up oh sorry i didn't blending this up you might not be able to see it because it's blocked but... to cancel out the sounds yeah so there you go that's your dressing um she says this dressing tastes fantastic on a bit of cucumber noodles or zoodles chopped onion and tomato can help to add uh additional texture and flavor oh she didn't mention chopped tomatoes i should have chopped some then anyway i like it i'm trying to I'm trying to understand the Indian flair part but it is I think with the black pepper and the cumin and the turmeric they are all Indian spices um and the ginger yeah like I'm trying to, I remember like does it remind me of any Indian dishes maybe like a tomato masala hmm hmm so I'm gonna build my um I'm gonna build my salad now. And I'll bring you guys over here so you can see how I do that. Okay, here we go. So I have one pound of greens. Um I had it is Asian greens, there's Kailan, loads of Kailan. I put some mint, I put some watercress, I have some pagaga, um I have some kale. Uh what else? Some snake grass that I got from that I got from Kabun Community Hartamas. The gaga. Yeah. So the bundle is a um, collection of ebooks, courses, guides uh on um which is all brand new you never seen before so apart from recipes 
There's also things on yin yoga, ash, there's a course on ashtanga yoga, there's like a fitness workout guides, there's a ebooks on newborn and vegan babies. Oh, there's a group collection ebook as well, so that should be fun. It is fun. I, I've listed out some of the recipes I'll make from there, but at the time of recording this, I haven't made it yet, but yeah. Um, so yeah, check out the link in my bio, link in the description um, on how to make it. Ooh, silly me, I supposed to put this in earlier. I did not. These are my mung bean sprouts. I think I'll put in, because I'm thinking of photos as well. I'm wondering whether I want to, you know what, I think I will leave it like that. I think this is good. And then these are my green lentil sprouts. I have this song in my head. Yeah. There's also, oh, the I think the super cool my favorite recipe book in the bundle is the wraps. Yeah, I've made the three wraps already, so that's cool. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, this is uh, cranberry hibiscus. So let's put that in. This is like nice and sour. Um, this is my tempeh. My homemade tempeh. You can take my course on how to make tempeh from scratch if you wanna make tempeh. It's soy free. I use like organic um, split yellow. Yeah, lentils, how cool is that? And then um, I'm putting in, I always put in some ferments. So this is like my lacto fermented um, Berlimbing Bulo. Recipe, that recipe is in my Fun with Ferments ebook. Yeah, and then uh, this one is purple carrots. I don't think I want to buy these purple carrots in the bag anymore because when I bought them, they were like so bad and then I, I didn't go back to return it. So yeah, this is some of the jackfruit just now. thought it would be cool to have something to munch on. These are um walnuts because I noticed her recipe has like no, uh, like no nuts or seeds. So um i will get hungry so i put them in and dr forman also says that you need some fat to eat your green so i put it in. that was my brazil nuts and this is my chopped um uh it's chili api but i guess like people who are not in malaysia will know them as thai chilies okay and then um, i'm gonna put in these are my goji berries that i rehydrated so i basically just soaked it in water again plus my wakame um i always yeah i have some seaweed it's funny though every time i think of seaweed then i think like oh marita doesn't eat seaweed i can't remember why i think she said it was like it grows in the sea and it's like living or something i don't know anyway um i think dr Furman's talks about seaweed i well, I know that ha Matt Bennett, who has an ebook, uh, Matt Bennett of Raw Intuition, he has an ebook in the uh, Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle on, I think it's what Five Star Salad Revolution. I can't remember names. There's so many. Um, so he has an ebook, and he does talk about using seaweed. So yay for that. Sometimes things are so contrasting, I never know, like, do I, do I not, do I, do I not? Okay, I'm gonna put in more kimchi. Yay. Uh, yeah, kimchi. This is like jambu ayah kimchi. Um, made my own. Uh, yeah, check out Fun with Ferments. I just have like a lot of basic, not basic, yeah. Some interesting recipes oh i should put this back into that ebook hmm. anyway so that's going in kimchi as well from then just to make it look pretty oh but not actually because this uh this is a butterfly pea flower 
it has um it has good properties as well yeah antioxidant yeah i i i like it to look pretty ah 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 i'm shallow like that so yeah i was just asking daily greens whether they can make like salads for me if i give them the recipe and they're like we can't make it pretty i said it's okay you don't need to be pretty i for me it's pretty because i'm taking pictures if, if i just want to eat it doesn't need to be um these are edible flowers this is uh i think it's called what colgrant mexican creeper i know it's ayam mata pengantin so so yeah that is my salad i'm gonna put in a bit more jackfruit pieces as well because i think that would go well uh, Um, and then it's gonna go in my dressing. Ooh, this is super thick. Yeah, thick and creamy. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Um, check out the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle if you are thinking of embarking on a um, raw vegan lifestyle. Or even if you just want to introduce a bit more, you know, fresh fruit and veggies and you don't know where to start. This is a good starting point. Um, if you are already a long-term raw vegan person, then I think um, things like the wraps, the group collaboration ebook on appetizers, um, the next level pasta recipes, that's really good as well. Plus, you have other courses like you know the Yin Yoga and the the Ashtanga Yoga. Um, uh, Lexi actually has a really good course um, on DBT. Let me try and figure out what's the name of the course. Oh, I don't think I have... Eh, 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 eh. Don't have it here. Yeah, I'll put it in the, you know, the footnotes. <laughs> uh, footnotes, I got it in footnotes. I'll add it into the end of the video on, on what that course is that I like. Maybe I should list out like what are some of the things that I like in the bundle. Um, at the time of recording this, there's about um, 38 submissions. I, I, I'm wondering whether like by, um, you know, by one, two more days, whether there's going to be 40, but yeah, 38 submissions is already a lot of things. There's a lot of contributions. Um, if you want to make money or so, I think there's a Ted car, um, thing as well. So, okay. I will talk more about it in the edition of this video. Now it's time to eat. Oh my God. It's two o'clock. Like I'm 30 minutes way past my <laughs> lunchtime. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another one. Bye.